a superstar in the NBA with the likes of Thames Valley Cavaliers. Well, you can see the mid-range shot been taken and easily tucked away there by Dondre Johnson. And getting his opening two points up the British basketball league. I really like that offense, really executed screen, came over, got into ribbon for that jump shot. And now the Flyers trying to go to the own dribble handoff. Jordan Conte going in and counted, getting the have one. That's a good response there. Should go on baseline, no one to kick out to. Well, while he was wide open to get the ball to him, and under the basket, that is way too easy for the Plymouth City Patriots. But good patience by the Plymouth P Patriots. I'm really enjoying them on the offensive, Josh. They're really executing, making sure uh, they hit good screens. Well, another deep three, and again, contest the three-pointer. That one's good there. But nothing's going to be given for the Plymouth City Patriots. Well, deep three-pointer, are you Whoa. kidding me? Well, right now, it's rated three-pointers. You better have. It's under three minutes to go. No foul call, but again, Flyers fighting for offensive boards. Second time, can't get it, but again, third time, no problem. And again, that is going to infuriate Coach Paul James. The Plymouth City Pages with a chance to break this one. Tries to go for a Eurostep, a great defense. Wonderful defense. Well, Bristol have numbers here. Go for another three. Three is up. Three is good. Bristol looking to extend here. Can they make the use of the home court advantage? Olsen fakes now, goes in, hangs in the air. Well, maybe should have gotten that one there, but... Again, something Coach Paul James is a point guard back in his day when he averaged 10 points per game at the professional level. Won't be too pleased with his players, but Green now. Big man just going to work. They're really struggling. They're shooting shots, hitting the side of the backboard, uh, missing layups. Really easy shots here. Let's have that one. Thank you very much. Well, that's a nice little dime there coming from LVC Dusha. Barney Noble under the basket, the Albanian international. Has feature for Albanian Eurobasket pre qualifiers. Lovely pass. A wide open yeah. point. Six a three pointer. Remember, the first time the Plymouth City Patriots defeated the Bristol Flyers was on February 11th. Get out of my house, he says. Well, the rejection coming from Johnson. Green light. And again, if you're ever playing in South America, this is where they say, no in me, Casa. Get out of here. Can they extend this to 10 points? Maybe 11 if they go for a three pointer. Finding Green in the paint. Green going up. Big man. Too big. Too strong and just too good. Well, many old British basketball league fans will remember the great Billy Singleton. Green, of course, very similar, but that's a better play there. Well, there's the penetration now. Going in the lane. Draws a contact. Gets the at one. And he's going to the free throw line. At all. Look at this. Puts it through his legs. Hard dribble. Takes the hit. And finishes and one. Well, Corey Samuels was turning it over there, but Tevin Allison able to keep this one alive now. Leslie Smith, the back to a play. Bristol have numbers. Well, Plymouth have numbers going all the way. And again, another have one. Yeah. But now look at the athleticism. A nice finish there. And that's what Plymouth needs now. Not hitting the rim, hitting the side of the backboard. Um, just no execution from them. Allison trying to take on Johnson. Going down low again, and way too easy. And Brad Green, I said, looks like a baby Brad Miller. Not a big margin, Azania, but you know, they're really gonna have to work for it here. Tries to dish up, good passing. Three in the corners up, and it's good. But well, welcome back to the British Basketball League. He scored pretty much back to back to back buckets for Plymouth, well needed. Well, another uncontested three point, but an offensive rebound. Baseline goes up, and again, doesn't get the open look, but the follow up. Bristol's gone a little bit dry in their offense so far, but can they regain this game? Oh, another rejection there by Johnson. But again, just throwing it right back away. Now seven here on the shot clock. And you can see the confidence being sucked right here out of the Plymouth City Patriots offense. Green again to post. This guy, Zania, I think he can hear you right now. Everything he's taking is going to the bottom of the net. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Keep going, Green. I'm a post player fan. I don't care who. What team, any post move, any post player, I like that move too. Well, Pepe Yassi may have heard what you said because he puts on a little bit of trickery. Well, we just spoke about this during the end of third quarter. Brad Green was teammates with Luke Nelson in his freshman year of college at UC Irvine. Interesting. Yeah, so when they play the Lions, they'll probably give each other a nice little hug. So that was Luke Nelson's senior year before going to play professional basketball in the ACB. But you know, interesting, Brad Green, a bit of experience playing in Austria and in Germany. Big man there, now just trying to make things go, but now the Plymouth City Patriots. 
Panthers are going to make the comeback. Every possession has got to count it. Nice little penetration. Dissected the defense down. Players like that just kind of ignite your team. I, I think he's doing a wonderful job at the captain spot. Dan Cotto finding chance in the paint. Much better build up. Yes. Penetration coming, but finding no ball. Eight minutes 20, they've got it down to 19. Oh, good ball movement now, finding Johnson faking the defense. Green under the basket, the big man. Well, Noble, of course, we mentioned playing at Florida Tech under the great Billy Mims. That's a nice penetration again, eases his way in. Oh, Jacob just taking the entire backcourt defense right to school on that one inside the paints. Really smart move by him. Oh, good hands now, comes up with a steal. Tries to go up and shimmies his way in and around the defense. And Alvisa Dusha making the effort to get back on defense. I just think they can be so much better, Josh. Well, oh, makes a dump down pass, another rejection. We got one team that plays in the EuroLeague Zero Cup, while the other one team's playing in the FIBA Euro Cup. I mean, it's going to be a, not only a battle of the British Basketball League Titans, yeah. but also teams playing continentally, trying to make a name for themselves. Yeah, and I think this is where the British Basketball League has stepped up. Now we have four teams going to be playing as the seas open up, and he loves it. Yo, I spent the summer with head coach Lloyd Gardner. He was my co-commentator at the FIBA Under-19 World Cup in Deverton. And he has been on the horn ready, trying to find the missing piece. Well, Johnson, again, it's been a very interesting introduction for him in the British Basketball League. Going baseline all the way. Gets the ab one. And he'll go to the free throw line here for the three-point play. But, you know, strong move here by TJ. But I like him a lot. I think he's uh, very poised, down low, always arcs for the ball. There he is. Give it to him. Uh, they've, they've missed him. Well, tries to go for the mid-range again. Good night to Bristol. Listen, I think I saw him at the copper box on Wednesday night. <laughs> it's Friday night basketball, and he's here to enjoy. Well, another D3 point of coming. And again, the pressure being piled on once again by the Bristol Flyers. Johnson, beautiful shot. Well, Taylor Johnson here trying to Sound with something, I think it would be a consolation. Three is up, and it's good, but you know, one positive note he'll take from this game is numbers have improved here in the second half. He's come in uh, and scored everyone. He's pretty much come in and played tough minutes and scored for the Flyers. I I'm impressed by them. Well, Jacob Wadley with a spin-out move. And ladies and gentlemen, at the end of this game, it will be the Bristol Flyers who take the victory, 82-65 to against the Plymouth City Patriots.